The human brain is truly amazing. It's able to process 11 million bits of information per second, but we're still pretty stupid. Oh, you want proof? Okay, play this game with me and no cheating, okay? I'm gonna ask you a random question, one where you're probably gonna have to guess the answer to. But first, let's spin this wheel. Ooh, what's it gonna land on? Wow, it landed on a 10. Now, answer this question. How many African countries are in the United Nations? And if you don't know the answer, don't worry, that's kind of the point, I want you to guess. Okay, note down your answer or keep it in mind because we're spinning the wheel again. Okay, wow, it landed on 60. I wanna give you the chance to guess again. How many African countries do you think are in the United Nations? Write down your second answer. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the answer now, so if you need more time, pause the video here. Now, the correct answer is 54. All of Africa's nations are in the UN. But I want you to take a look at the two answers you have written down. If your first answer is a smaller number than your second answer, congratulations, you are the latest victim of something called the anchoring effect. I'm not sure how well this experiment translates over video, but that exact experiment was carried out in the 70s. The researchers concluded that even random numbers can stick in your mind and influence your guess if you're trying to think of an answer. So in this case, people who rolled a 10 guessed lower numbers numbers than people who rolled a 60, an average of 45% lower. So what am I talking about? What are mental anchors? What is the anchoring effect? Well, I'm glad you asked. Whenever we are faced with a question that we don't know the answer to, we use mental anchors to try to guess the answer. For example, what is the population of North Korea? Well, we know it's more than one, that's one anchor. We know it's less than 7 billion, that's another anchor. You might know that it's less than the population of China or Japan, that's anchor three and four, and you'll keep doing this with all the available knowledge that you do have until you're as close as you can to making an educated guess. The closer you can get with your anchors, the better chance you have at being right with your guess. But what if I told you this way of thinking has its negative implications and might even influence our justice system? In 2006, a study was conducted on German judges with an average of 15 years of experience in the field. They were all given a dice that was rigged to roll either either a nine or a three. They were also given a description of a case where a woman had been shoplifting. The judges who rolled a three on average gave her a five month sentence, but the judges who rolled a nine on average gave her an eight month sentence. The study concluded the anchoring effect had influenced the judges. During this video, I'm sure you've started to recognize instances in your own life where this has had an effect on you. Marketers telling you the price is way higher just so they can give you a discount and make the sale. In a job interview, you might ask for a higher salary than the one you're expecting. And at your next garage sale, you might lowball the seller so you get that Nintendo 64 at a price you were secretly aiming for. Or when you see a bad review for a video game or a movie, your expectations are anchored to that opinion. And I'm willing to bet that it influenced how you took in that piece of media. We all have thousands Thousands of anchors that make up our perspectives, that form our decisions, that help us navigate the things we don't know. But often, the unknown lies far beyond where our anchors are stationed, and to compensate, we bring the answer closer to us. Just something to keep in mind. Thanks for watching.